announced the rise in anti-Semitism and racism uh, in this country and all over the world. We voted overwhelmingly that this was a threat to democracy and to our constitutional values, because they are. Anti-Semitism and racism are the gateway to destruction of our democracy and democracies all over the world. Now, why do I raise that? Because that's the whole context in which we have a Mueller investigation in the whole context in which Congress is about to express, I think on an overwhelming, I hope on an overwhelming bipartisan basis, that the Mueller report has got to be given to the American people. As the chairman says, uh, our electoral process was the target of the greatest active measure, disinformation and destabilization campaign in the history of Russia. And you can talk to any of our intelligence agencies about it, and I hope that our, our, the good gentleman from Texas would, if he needs further convincing. And there are many books about it now. Um, there were millions and millions of dollars spent on a campaign to destabilize our election process. And that should be a matter of concern to all of us, regardless of whether you're Democrat, Republican, Libertarian, Green, Reform, nothing, you hate all the parties, it makes no difference. There was an effort to destabilize and undermine our national political sovereignty in 2016. So the way it was explained to me, actually, by a, a friend who's worked in the intelligence community uh, was very clarifying for me. He said, look, um, Putin now is a garden variety autocrat, kleptocrat, despot, like many all over the world. Uh, he says that the loss of the Soviet Union, and of course he had been the chief of the KGB, but the loss of the Soviet Union was the greatest political catastrophe of the 20th century. Not what happened in World War II, not genocide or Holocaust or World War I, but the the crumbling of the, the collapse of the Soviet Union. Okay, and he looks at America and he says, well, he can't beat us militarily. We outspend them, I don't know, 25 to one or whatever. He can't beat us economically because Russia is in ruins, but we are an economic powerhouse. He certainly can't beat us in terms of political and moral philosophy because the American people despite everything we've gone through, are in love with our democracy and our constitutional values, and we're not going to trade it for anything else. And so what do they have? What's our Achilles heel? The internet. It's informational security, the security of our computer systems. And they, they arrange a campaign to conduct cyber espionage and sabotage at the DNC, to pull all those emails and give them to the friends at WikiLeaks to release those to try to undermine one side in another country's political campaign. Then they try to conduct a campaign of sabotage directly into state election systems. And a lot of states' computer systems were hit directly. Mine was, and if you have any doubt about that, I will give you the phone number of the head of our board of elections who reported it when the uh, Russian agents tried to get into Maryland's election system. And then perhaps most perniciously, they conducted a campaign of propaganda through Facebook and Twitter and social media in order to inject poison into the American system. And so everybody who plays into the divisiveness and the polarization, everybody who tries to summon up hate for the other political party and other American citizens is playing right into Vladimir Putin's hands. That's exactly what Putin wanted. He wanted this group to hate that group and that party to hate that party and that group to hate that group. And look how well it's worked. Look where we are in America in 2019 in terms of social unity. They did that beautifully, didn't they? Their internet research agency, which employed hundreds of people to pump poison and propaganda into our system.